the Axa PMI number dropped further to 45.4 index points in October. When delving into the underlying numbers feeding into PMI, it is concerning that the business activity index continues to decline. New sales orders ticked up slightly, but this is still indicative of a weak underlying demand for manufactured goods. The pressure on household finances and soft mining output may be amongst the key reasons why the demand for locally produced manufactured goods is faltering. Now, the FTSE JC Ultra Index declined by 3.8% in October, and as at the end of October, the year to date return number for the JC is minus 4.6%. Industrials and resources had a very difficult time, while gold counters performed well. Now, the RAND managed to make up some of the annual losses, strengthening by 1.5% against the uh, greenback. CPI continues to trend lower, and at the end of October, the latest number was 5.4%. While well, one year ago, in November, CPI came in at 7.4%. The repo rate remained unchanged at 8.25% and is still slightly um, higher than um, what we saw one year ago. What we do notice is that the JSE closed on 69,653 um, index points, while one year ago the index closed on 74,828, meaning the JSE is currently experiencing a negative one year return number. Now, some of the asset managers we hold in our model portfolios recently shared with us their views on the asset classes and their positioning. One manager in particular, Catalyst Fund Managers, believe that there is a case for global developed market property. Should the interest rate cycle reach its peak, there is a very good chance of a re-rating for this asset class. Now, you can view the October webinar on our YouTube channel if you'd like to find out more on their views. It was quite a tough month with local equity, local property and global equity all closing in the red for the month of October. And our timeline has always shared some interesting events over the last one year. Now a brief look at some um, financial planning components. This month we share a table which you as an advisor may find useful when dealing with clients who require their living annuities to be paid into foreign bank accounts. Take note, when is it allowed, when not? Given how many people have immigrated, um, it is quite important or an important piece of information. Now as we always enjoy sharing some random numbers. 7,000. That is the number of satellites currently in orbit, of which 50% belong to SpaceX. Another interesting number is 672 million. That's the number of, uh, number of times the TikTok app was downloaded in 2022, making it the most downloaded app. Now back to investments. This month we pause and expand a bit on the first pillar of outcomes-based investing. When we consider this pillar, we want to ensure that the client in RAND value achieves a certain outcome. And how well did the steady growth model, um, model portfolio perform? The low equity model managed to deliver an excellent monetary outcome for the client and managed to outperform the likes of the CESA multi-asset low equity category. We highlight, as always, our model portfolio return numbers compared to their relevant CESA categories. And you'll notice on all of these graphs a one-year number, but then with that, the investment horizon number for the model. Meaning if we deal with, for instance, the steady growth model portfolio, we will highlight the one-year number as well as the rolling three-year number. Now, the models have all managed to deliver exceptional returns and managed to beat the CESA categories or their relevant CESA categories over these investment periods. If you are meeting with your client and want to put the returns into perspective, then use our snapshot page. Here we look at, for instance, what the bond yields did and what money market yields currently offer. Now, the indices also provide some context so to understand what can be expected from some of the funds or models. And while some of the bank products on offer um, may give you a good five-year fixed return of let's say 9.4%, we'd like to compare that to the stable income model portfolio. Not only does it offer liquidity, it's not fixed, but it also manages to return a very similar number over the last year. Now get in touch if you would like to find out more about outcomes-based investing and how we enable, equip, and empower advisors to ensure that they reduce uncertainty for the client's investment outcomes.